All right, guys, welcome to problem 428. Almost done with this section. Um, so once again, we're going to be replacing uh, the loading, all the loading shown with an equivalent uh, result in a couple moment at a specific point, which is going to be A in this case, which is uh, highlighted in red. All right, so just as we've done before, now it should be kind of a repetitive task for you guys. All right, we're going to sum all the forces in the x. All right, so let's see. We have this force, 50, in the x direction. Okay. Uh, here we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle, and this 150-pound force needs to be split off into its x direction and its y direction. Okay. So this x direction, the you know the horizontal force here, is going to be 150, and it's moving to the right, or it's pointing to the right, so it's going to be positive 150. And now let's see, the side that's parallel to the x-axis in this 3, 4, 5 triangle is going to be the 3. Okay, so it's going to be 3 over 5. 3 over 5. Okay. And then we have another force here that we have to split off into its x and y component, which is going to be this 100 pound force up here. So it's going to be x is going in this direction, and the y component is going in this direction. Okay, it's pointing down and to the left, so negative, negative. All right. And then it's, since it's pointing to the left, minus 100. All right. And this 3, 4, 5 triangle tells us that it's going to be 4 fifths. Because force opposite or parallel to the x-axis. Okay, so this gives us 50, uh, 150 divided by 5, that's 30, 90. So 50 plus 90. Uh, let's see, minus 20 times 4, minus 80. All right, so this equals 60 newtons, uh, 60 pounds, sorry, 60 pounds. So that's the resultant in the x direction. So the resultant in the y, again, let's apply what we did already. So uh, both of them are going negative. If we look at the bottom one here, it's minus 150, and then 4 fifths. Four fifths and then minus 100 3 over 5 all right so let's see minus 150 divided by 5 30 minus 30 times 4 minus 120 minus the minus 60 minus 180 pounds all right, and now let's see the result. Uh, I mean, sorry, the magnitude of the resultant will be sixty squared plus one hundred eighty squared. One eighty squared plus sixty squared. Okay, so that. That's. Uh, I'm just gonna say roughly one ninety, one hundred ninety pounds. Okay, its direction, inverse tan, let's see, minus 180, divided by 60, okay, inverse tan, minus 180, divided by 60, and that's about minus 71. 0.6 degrees. All right, cool. All right, so now it takes care of the force. Now let's take the moment about a. Uh, right away, let's look at let's look at the bottom two forces. Okay, the 150 and the 50. This 50 pound force extends its line of action. Okay, and it intersects a. So it's just pulling on a. No, no, it's not trying to make it rotate. So no contribution there. 
the x component of this 150 pound force that one again it's right here so if you extend this line of action it intersects a so we don't need to take the um, moment contributed to a from those two forces okay but we have to look at uh, this one up here the ones in uh, the ones that have a green dot next to them okay okay these are the ones that are going to contribute to uh, some rotation about a all right looking at the easy one here let's look at the bottom force so mr this this force over here we said it was going to be 150 and then we said uh, four fifths okay so it's the force now the distance to move this force over to a that's going to be three feet so times three and then what direction does it want to rotate it wants to rotate in a clockwise direction all right that takes, that takes care of that one now let's look at these two top ones the x and y components of this 100 pound force so the x direction if we extend its line of action right like that the distance needed to shift the line of action down to A is just going to be one foot. Okay, so let's see, the force is going to be a hundred, four over five, and the distance is one. All right, and this 100 pound or this X component is trying to make it rotate in the positive direction, kind of clockwise direction. And last but not least, we have the vertical component of that 100 pound force, which is again trying to make it rotate in a clockwise direction, so negative. And it's going to be 100 pounds times 3 over 5. Okay. And then times, let's see, extend our line of action. Okay. Like that. And it's going to be this distance in green over here. You know, it's kind of messy, which is six feet. All right. And this will be the resulting moment. A couple moments. So minus 150 times 4 divided by 5 times 3. Plus, uh, we said that was, uh, was 20, 80. Minus sixty times six. Right. So again, minus six four. The past three problems have pretty much been identical. Pound four. Okay. So now, if we were to redraw this whole structure, okay, let's draw it. Let's draw it in some magenta. This is our structure, okay, this L shape, okay, this is point A, okay, and now I have a clockwise torque at that at point A, so I have 640 at that location, and then let's see, I have and a resultant it's going like this of 190 and then the angle will be 71.6 okay and like in the previous video I had it um, if you want to draw it in a different way you can draw it uh, up here, okay, same thing, like that, and then this will be the 71 degrees. Okay, so those two things are the same. Well, obviously, don't draw, if you're going to stick with the orange, don't draw this yellow force. And if you stick with this yellow force, don't draw the orange. Okay, well, yeah. 
and that's it for this problem. Um, I think for the next few ones we'll be getting into some 3D, uh, maybe possibly. I gotta check it out. But yeah, uh, if you have trouble with this, uh, go back a few videos back, and you know you should be able to uh, see how we did the previous two, and then you should be able to tackle this. And if not, just leave me a comment, question below, and, uh, and I'll answer. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep uh, getting updates on all the videos that I post. Take it easy, guys.